Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a pretty exciting day. It is the 2nd of January, 2017, and today is the four month review of my car. So I did drive it back here in some snow. It's kind of icy, chunky snow. There's probably between four and six inches back here. And as you can tell, the car just motors. Doesn't even know it's there. These snow tires have been great. Very pleased to have sorted that out. There was a time when I didn't know if it would happen. It seemed like it was just a far-fetched idea. Um, what broke? Nothing. The car has been great. It's been absolutely flawless. There's been no noises. There's been no nothing. Nothing has developed. Um, things I was worried about were the mirrors freezing because they are the, the reversing mirrors. They tilt down when you put it in reverse. No issues with that. The doors. The doors are frameless. So when I open the door, the window drops and it opens. Now, after a freezing rainstorm, obviously, everything is coated in ice. I've been a little bit concerned about that, but it has not been an issue as of yet. But I am also making sure that I start the car and I give it a few minutes to warm up. Because it does have the V8, it does warm up very, very quickly. I did add all of the carbon fiber accents uh, about a week and a bit ago. Which I must say, I think they, they set the car apart. Which is very, very important to me. No, oh, thought I was being yelled at. But I'm not. And, I don't know, just the car's been really good. I've been really shocked with the winter tires. I was a little bit concerned that even with winter tires, it would be, you know, kind of awful. But, uh, I did put the weight in the trunk, which has not affected the performance or the handling of it. But, it is still back here. It has not moved. I still have my storage rack, which I am still going to expand upon and improve upon. But, it is back here for now. i got some tie-down straps and stuff. Because at times I am putting things in here and I want to secure it. This car has the power, it has the performance, it has the handling. But when you put stuff back here, it just becomes absolutely dreadful. And then of course, windshield washer fluid, I did cut a spot in there. I am trying to utilize the space underneath this box and not just lose it. Um, and then of course, no brush and storage. And then all of this stuff also fits on top. So if I do need more space, I can just make it all disappear. And a storage cubby in the side there and then I carry around the block that I made when I tried out the 18 inch rims on my car because you just never know I never know when I'm gonna need it I don't know if the car is getting jacked up if it uh if they know how to jack it up or if they have a block or a solution for that um as far as the trunk hitting in here oh, I got wax I got salt I got everything everywhere it is winter here for a view angle so there is no chips there is no marks I have not re-damaged it which was a huge concern of mine I open and close this trunk a lot I try to store everything back here and keep my back seat completely clean so when I open and close it I grab it like this one finger one thumb and I usually pull out I pull it towards myself and close it. I try not to damage the car. It can be an issue. It has been an issue and I just live with it because if I can take an extra second of my time opening and closing the trunk and not have an issue, that is ideal. This week I have more carbon fiber wrap coming in for the antenna. The bottom half of the mirrors from here down will be carbon fiber and it will just be this nice red cap with the leading edge now something i am contemplating because i am not a professional wrapper there is no arguing this whatsoever is i might end up having to pinstripe some of it with some black pinstripe or something just to clean up some of the edges or do whatever i don't i don't know yet exactly what i'm going to do but we will cross that bridge as we come to it of course the winter tires these are uh, Firestone Winter Force, they are not an exceptionally good winter tire. They are just a good winter tire. Nothing overly special about them. They are not that quiet, they are not that smooth, they're just good. Um, Bridgestone Blizzaks would be preferred. Um, and then there's Pirelli Soto Zeros. I mean, I got quoted a thousand bucks a tire for Pirelli Soto Zeros on my stock rims. And then these here I picked up for about 600 bucks. I paid 300 for the rims. I am looking for beauty rings. If anybody has a set of beauty rings, I need beauty rings. 2010 to 2013 Camaro LS beauty rings. That's what I'm looking for. 
that would be absolutely ideal. Um, I am quite excited about this wrap and more than just the aesthetic, aesthetics appearance, I do like that it is going to protect some of the, the high impact areas. Um, there is more planned. The, the new ZL1s, they reshape this front fascia a little bit and they have a much larger inlet for air. And I am not going to copy that. I am not going to make my car a ZL1 replica. It is not a ZL1. There is no intent to be a ZL1. It is going to be my SS. But for my SS, I am thinking about broadening this section here a little bit and giving it a little bit more aggression again. And it will be in the carbon fiber. I had somebody ask me recently about matching the metallic black stripes. I dread that. I dread it with a passion. Uh, the metallic black racing stripes look really nice you have to be into the racing stripes you have to be into the rally stripes and then what if you are then they work very well but to match this identically i don't know if it's even possible to match it properly and if you can't match it you make it different um that's what i do at work anyways because you know i get i get rvs here coming in and they're like 15 years old but well, i don't have product from 15 years ago so i make it different but look good so that's what i did with this i took a a trim i like i like carbon fiber accents and i just added it to it so i will have gloss black around the bottom because the car has gloss black on the back i will have the metallic black stripes which i am not going to mess with i'm not going to change modify add to do anything they are there they look very nice when it's clean and they get a nice sparkle to it but these carbon fiber uh accents are they're a really weird fickle beast. Um, under some lights, they look gray. Like, I don't know how the camera's picking it up here, but from like here, it looks gray. And then on other lights, it looks like a dark matte black. So as you walk around the car, as you approach it from different angles and different lights and different times of day and different parking lots, it looks different. The car just always has kind of a unique personality to it, which is, which is pretty cool. And I'm a big fan of, and then I have no doubt that the mirrors and the, the fin on the back will all match. I've contemplated a body spear on the side, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how much work it's gonna be and how much I'm actually gonna end up getting out of it versus just leaving it and doing the, the piece on the bottom. I think that might be the do all to end all. I mean, th it comes with this nice rear fascia that's black and that's the only reason I'm doing gloss black around the back, or around the whole, uh, underneath of the car. I thought about doing a carbon fiber. I thought about doing it matte. I thought about doing the carbon flash metallic that's becoming very popular. But when push comes to shove, it's not going to match the back of the car. And I don't want to change that. I, I have no issues with it. I think it looks really nice. And when it's all cleaned up, it to me, the skirt kit and the rear fascia and the front fascia extension, it's like framing a painting. You buy a very nice painting, you will spend hundreds of dollars to wrap it in a beautiful frame, and then the painting is complete. When you hang it on the wall, it all kind of goes together. That is the same thing with this car. Right now I feel like it just doesn't have like the appropriate amount of trim to just finish it off and then make it feel more exotic, which is why I'm wrapping the, the mirrors. But the speaker has not been changed yet. I have an appointment on the 4th of January for that. The car will be going in. The shifter knob, the top aluminum piece will be getting changed as well because it had a scratch in it. Um, I will be getting my first oil change. Nothing really to report there though. GM pays for the first two or four years or something on all of that. So that'll be exciting and I'm quite excited about that. And then I got to get a license plate bracket and move it down and but I gotta get the skirt. I, like I gotta, I gotta set in place all the big things before I can start tweaking the little things. Because if I can't make that happen and I still want to move it, then I gotta figure out something else, or I gotta buy a different bracket. Because there's a bracket with it, there's a bracket without it, and I love it with it. Like the plate will be sitting like down here. Well, that will look great. It will open up the whole grill. It'll make it easier to clean. And this October sticker is gonna be coming off. I got some other ideas for that. Um, this car, for stuff like that, I've, I've really contemplated it. Because I'm doing the gloss black extension here, I've got another sticker in smaller writing that's that matte black. I thought about putting it like right here, 
in matte black so it looks ghosted into it it's not like boom hello and then tire letters on my stock tires with the silver wheels and then the top hat plus will be coming off the windows there's no point for it to be there i will be putting it probably in white right here it'll give it more punch but less punch because it won't be right in your your visual sight range and it'll be on a flat surface rather than you know right up here like a billboard as much as i love advertising that i'm doing youtube and all that i want to do it in a nice nice classy classy way um aside from that a lot of the issues everybody's had with these cars i can honestly say i have not had I haven't had any issues with the the baffles on the MPP squeaking. The rear diff obviously is groaning. I've seen service bulletins and a number of you have shared different things that you've done or had done or are having done to fix the issue. I will be bringing those up with my dealer and seeing what they can do with that. But I don't, I don't see any real immediate rush or any real immediate concern. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I'm just happy that it's been absolutely flawless because to have a pain in the butt and go through all that again i went through that on my last vehicle and i'm just very relieved i mean it's been four months it's been 120 ish days in change and i still walk out every single day in disbelief i own this car i am absolutely in disbelief that I made it happen. I did it. I committed to it. I committed to you guys on the YouTubes and I'm doing it. I'm making all of my dreams come true all at once. And it's been exhausting, but probably one of the most rewarding things I have done to date. And I, I just am excited for the entire year. I think it's going to be absolutely exceptional. And the, the journeys will continue. The car will just keep evolving. And, uh, I got some phone calls to make for this year. I really wanna, I really want to do all of my little projects and make the car every bit of everything I can make it. But obviously, funds are very limited. This is not a oh yeah, I'm just gonna buy everything and do everything I want to it. The money has to be available as well as money to do other things. So you know what? I'm not gonna keep talking your ear off. I'm gonna put together a bit of a montage of the car. So sit back, enjoy the show. Thank you very, very much for four months of, uh, of viewership and everything everybody's done. Your comments have made every minute of it worth it. It's made all the hours and all the time spent very, very rewarding. So thank you very much. And everybody, take care, drive safe.